How much time do you dedicate to flexibility? It looks pretty good. That's why he's saying that. Your shoulders, your T-spine, your hips, you got threes on shoulder mobility, threes on leg raise. Now, let me ask you something. If you have that kind of God-given mobility or acquired mobility, why in the rest of your screen that impressive? Is it a flexibility problem or a stability problem? First of all, there's not a problem up here. But what I'm saying is, the way you look to me, you've got far more mobility than you can express in functional patterns. Here's your mobility. As long as you're laying on your back or as long as you're standing unloaded, you can show me huge amounts of flexibility. But we ask you to deep squat, hurdle step, lunge. We ask you to plank, push up, rotary. You sort of drop back a little bit. Getting ready for strong first, you've got to do some lifts. But your main work, I'd be doing a lot of carries. Dan, John, and I talked about it last year. With you, I'd probably start with a 16K, and I'd just start walking. And when you can't hold it with integrity, you bring it to here and just keep on walking. And when you can't hold it here, you take it there, keep on walking, then you switch arms. 12 minutes from now, you can sit your kettlebell down. But what that's going to do is train your stabilizers to keep your back, your pelvis, your shoulders, everything connected while you're doing a snatch test, while you're doing a deadlift, while you're doing a Turkish getup. So right now, you don't have enough energy to do all your lifts and all these supplements. You can go right into a lot of carries and get a lot more of that stabilization. That right there with just carries will probably pick your movement screen up a couple of points. And what I'm telling you is a lot of the moves you're doing in strong first, if you go into them with just a little bit of tightness or poor stability, your work capacity goes through the roof, but your work, you're going to get smoked way before you accomplish something. One of the counterintuitive things people don't do is they don't do enough carries. Most people don't do enough swings either. And don't just do swings. Do swings like Pavel standing behind you, and you won't be doing as many swings, but the ones you will be doing will have a lot of integrity. But right there, that, that is a ripe movement screen just to do a bunch of farmer's carries. Static and dynamic holds are where you pick up stability. You don't have to micromanage the rotator cuff and micromanage the core and everything. It all gets hit in carries. If I set you up with 75% of your body weight split into each hand, and you can't carry that for a minute and a half, that is your problem, and we might find that.